So step one, which is even finding a niche to begin with. So you're already starting with wholesale catalogs or wholesale accounts. And so you don't need to do that search. But if you're unfamiliar or you don't have any wholesale accounts, one of the best ways to do that is, is to look at your own life. Look at your own analyze and brainstorm products to sell. And that's a lot of people think, what kind of products can I sell? Oh, I could sell this. I could, you could literally sell anything from like sticky notes and pens to patio furniture. So how do we narrow it down? Well, first of all, the best way to create a bundle is to solve a problem or meet a need for the customer. That means you have to know the customer and you have to know what their problems are and what their needs are and how you can meet them with product. The best way to do that is to look for categories of products or niches or subject matter that you are familiar with. It doesn't mean you have to be passionate about it necessarily, but you need to be familiar enough to know what are the needs, what are the trends, what are the problems, what are the issues, what are the pain points with the people that are purchasing these products, okay? So I always use this as a great example of, of needing something, knowing your customer, knowing the problems, knowing the, the issues and being able to solve those issues for your customers with your bundles. That's what you're doing. That's really what you're doing with bundles. I think a lot of people just like skip that and miss that and don't realize that like you're not just throwing a bunch of products together and hoping you're going to make more money off of that. The reality is you're building a bundle for a customer that has issues, needs, problems, concerns, and they want to solve those issues, needs, problems, and concerns with a product. So they just want something. So an example would be, okay, so um, my sister growing up, she had four kids. She has four kids. They're all like grown adults now, but they, when they were younger, they were, there was like literally four kids, six and younger. So they're all younger and eventually they were in elementary school. Their elementary school required uh, uniforms. And so with the uniforms, there was only two colors of shirts that you could wear. They had to have a collar. They had, had to be short sleeve or long sleeve, but they had to be either light blue or white. She had three boys and a girl. The three boys destroyed their clothes on a regular basis. If you guys ever had boys, you just know they just, they're messy. They get dirty. They play in the dirt. They, they are just, for, I, my kids were messy. <laughs> Her kids were messy. And so when you have shirts like that, very light colored shirts that tend to get lots of food stains and grass stains and dirt stains and who knows whatever else they're getting on their shirts, grease, whatever. Um, they're hard to not only keep clean, but keep them nice and neat and all that. So you're going to school five days a week. You can wear a couple of different shirts and you've got three boys and they're always messing up their clothes. You're constantly doing laundry. You're running out of shirts on a regular basis. Well, years ago, um, when her kids were young and there wasn't as much product out there specifically online, they really only sold these uniform shirts twice a year. They sold them sometime like in August, July, August, before school started. And occasionally you'd see a few left on the shelf, maybe in January or so. The problem with that is she was in constant need of these. Like every three months she needed to replace these shirts. I mean, she not all the bleach in the world couldn't save these shirts, right? And so, and she had three kids and then they're in different sizes and they're different things. So what if you know your customer like that and you know that they're looking for something on a regular basis then you can create products for them so here's a great example of a bundle that i ended up seeing on amazon after i was thinking about her issue with oh she's like oh, i can't find uniform shirts anywhere and i need you know basically need five of each size and all that then i looked on amazon and realized that someone had created a bundle with five shirts of the same size two different colors, light blue and white, for a five-day week of a kid going to school in a size 8, 10. Perfect. So she could literally go to Amazon and add that to her cart and never worry about it again. She, they, somebody just solved a problem for her. She bought five new shirts for each kid. They were all in a bundle, picked the size, the colors were perfect, the end. 
So that could be one way to solve that problem. The other way to solve that problem could have been, here is literally the best stain fighting solutions in the world. And you can create a bundle where you, you've got a little bit of like a stain fighter where, where maybe you're using, I don't know what your favorite stain fighter is, but um, you know, it could be a stain fighting solution plus a how-to guide on how to get the, these types of stains just out of anything. And maybe it's a little scrub brush to help you scrub and pat the, the grass stains or whatever out of something. And maybe some OxyClean to soak it in. Like, a literally stain fighting solution so that instead of buying new shirts you could like save the old ones and you know fabric you know savers whatever it is so there's two different bundles that could potentially meet that need she chose the one that because the other one didn't exist in other words the stain fighting trying you know and plus how much laundry do you really want to do like you can only scrub these shirts so much you guys before they're just like done Right? So that solved a problem or met a need. And so those are the main things. When you want to get started with bundling, when you want to do that, it's not just about scanning things to see which one's the most profitable and slapping a couple of things together so that people don't hijack your listing. That is not how we build a bundle. We build a bundle with a problem or a solution to a problem or building it with products that will help solve problems and meet needs for customers who have issues. So that's really what you need to do first is not necessarily look through all the products, but think about the customer that you want to serve. And the best way to do that is to understand them. So understanding who that is that you want to serve. What are the problems they have? What are the issues? Another, you know, a problem, I hate using that word because not everything is a problem. It just has a, a product that could bring a solution to the table. Um, when you have a new puppy, for example, you have all kinds of products that you need to buy in order if you've never had a dog before. And so, you know, everything from a leash to um, pet food bowls to maybe those little doggy pee pee pads or everything else. So I've seen bundles where people create new puppy um starter kits because who really has all that stuff? When we got our reps rescued our kittens from our shed, we had never had kittens before and they needed to be like bottle fed because the mom wasn't there so you know we needed products for that so those are the types of things you need to think about when you're getting started with bundling it's not about a data spreadsheet of rois and picking products that way although you could certainly start with that but eventually you have to circle back around to okay these are the top 10 products spit out by the software that are going to make me a good roi now we have to go to the bundle and like who creating the avatar for that creating the person that needs this it's going to buy it where are they going to use it how are they going to use it how are they going to use it together with other products are there other products that help enhance this product or make it work easier better faster whatever so that is the best way really to get started is starting from your own knowledge bank and saying i know that you know if you've had a, i've had a parent who had passed away from cancer but during that time he had a lot of issues with a lot of different products and things because mobility is limited or your ability to eat certain things are limited or all, all different things or you have ailments from side effects from your medication and there's certain things that ease that pain um, those are lots of different ways that you can think about bundling. So it's not your typical widget selling, uh, look at the numbers, decide it's you know going to sell or not sell at a certain volume, and then move on. It's, it takes a lot more thinking ahead of time to create bundles. But once you do, there's no competition. There's second to none. There's a, You've taken the time to analyze and create a product for a customer. They pay you with dollars over and over. So 